you guys have been a defensive team all year long, but this seems to be another level that you've reached. What do you think is allowing this group to play the way it has on, on that end of the floor against a very potent offense? I think a uh, level of urgency, uh, especially from the first week of the game, is at the highest level. You know, I mean, you know we, we know that when we turn it off, we, we're about to be a unique defensive team, but when we don't have to turn it off because we're doing it from the first minute of the game, it's, uh, it's a different type of uh, this is a league that is built on offense and like in many ways like it's been that way for for a long long time what is there a level of satisfaction that you guys are doing in a different way that you guys are showing that hey this is it's possible to play defense in a league where the rules are geared sure. Sure. I mean, we, we, when we sat down in training camp we said what team we want to be so we want to be a defensive minded team and we want to be the best in the league and we can be unique but it comes with the price, you know, it comes with, you know, doing the dirty work, it comes with doing the things that, you know, you don't see on the stats and, and doing it consistently. And uh, I really, I really feel like from day one training camp, really, everyone really bought in uh, to be, to be that, that team. Rudy, it, it looks like Carl's playing a way that we've never really seen him play before. You're asking him to do very specific things uh, in, in this matchup that have, he historically hasn't been asked to do on main team. What is it meaning that he's taking that role and executing it? It means everything. You know, uh, He's capable to do so many things on the basketball court. But sometimes, you know, I think like he had so much success in the past, you know, being played a certain way, but now being able to um, play the way that's going to make us the best team possible, you know, depending on the matchup, depending on, you know, who's on the floor, depending on who we're playing. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's been huge and, and, you know, it's obviously sacrificing maybe him scoring more, or maybe him, you know, doing more things that we know he can do. But, you know, it's, it's about winning. And, you know, everyone can see it. You know, we, we are sacrificing a little bit to be able to uh, play the best type of basketball that we can play. And, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, when you win, uh, you know, there's nothing better. And like I said, you know, some games, uh, it's going to be Cats night, some games going to be Nance, some games going to be Jaden. Uh, but when we play, uh, when we space for each other, when we make the right play for each other, when we do it simply, uh, we were really, really tough to guard, and uh, that's what we've been doing those last two games. Rudy, your free throw shooting so far in the series has been very, very good. Have you changed anything at all in the mechanics? And when you're hitting your free throws like that, how does that affect them defending you, like not thinking that they can just foul you? Maybe go one yeah, I think it's just for me, just about just shooting the free throw. Uh, I've always been in practice, I've always been in under 9%, uh, you know, in the games. Uh, I feel like I've been inconsistent in the past, and now for me it's, it's just about yeah, just just shooting it, shooting it with confidence, take my time, and uh, and yeah, I'm really confident. So it's a easy shot for me. I just gotta, I just gotta shoot it. Thanks, Rudy. When when your team is playing at its best defensively, can you sense um, frustration or out of character um, plays? Uh, urgency, anything in your opponents? For sure, for sure. I mean, we can see it, and I can feel it. I can see it, uh, and you know, I mean, it's it's tough. Uh, no one, obviously, like going against uh, the type of defense that we're playing right now with Jaden and Mike. All these guys are, you know, being really tough on the ball, and and then you have me or Cat. Uh, on the backside, you know, and so uh, it's a it's a total team effort, and you know we we really try to yeah com compete every single possession. Obviously, they they have some generational talents, you know, offensively. So it's a uh, it's a big challenge for us. But I'm really proud of the way guys are really taking that challenge, you know. And we know that they're going to hit tough shots, and we know that we're not going to stop everything. But um, you know, in the NBA, nobody's keeps the other team at zero points. So we gotta yeah, make them work for everything they get 
and uh, and uh, we've been doing that so far. You know, they 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 unique players. You know, so they they're making some tough plays, tough shots, but uh, we try to you know make them work for everything they get. How satisfying was it to have that coach's challenge go your way? And can you talk us through that uh, that fast break? It was very satisfying. <laughs> very. But um, no, it was. I mean, I just uh, I pushed the pace, and I didn't see nobody running with me. So, you know, I used to play the three, so I just I just went for it. And uh, you know, this is situations that I actually work on. You know, being able to attack in space and then you know try to finish through contact. And I saw that it kind of like bumped me, so I just had to. I just I got fouled, and then I just threw it up. And, uh, and I made it, so it's uh, yeah. Sometimes it's gonna happen. You might see some things that you've never seen before. Rudy, uh, defensively, what is it doing for you guys? You playing up and switching uh, when that when that needs to happen. If Jaden gets caught or whatever, particularly in the first half, seems like you're switching all the time. I think uh, I mean it makes us more versatile. You know, it makes us even more special defensively. Uh, you know, me having the trust that. When I switch on the ball, guys are going to be able to secure the rebound. And uh, them having the trust that when I'm guarding anyone, I don't need help. You know, uh, I'm going to try to make him hit the toughest shot possible. Um, it's huge. I think that's, you know, with the level of talent that there is in NBA right now, it's, um, it really makes us unique uh, defensively. And, uh, you know, I really uh, enjoy, you know, I embrace those situations, uh, you know, uh, guarding the best players in the world is, you know, it's uh, it's always a fun challenge for me. Rudy, what's the level of satisfaction when you see them unravel the way they did? I mean, Vogel gets teed up. Any number of their players are bickering with the officials. Uh, I mean, satisfaction for me is about winning. Uh, you know, what they do is on them and what we do is on us. At the end of the day, uh, we really try to keep our composure, keep, you know, stay locked in on what we can control and, uh, you know, and yeah, stay level headed. You know, we, we can be focused on what the other team does. You know, at the end of the day, we know where we want to go. Uh, and what they do is, you know, it's, it's on them. Rudy, what do you guys have to do to, to get that third win on um, Friday? So what do you have to do defensively, keep this intensity, they're going to make adjustments. What do you have to do to counter that? I mean, most of, above everything, take care of ourselves. You know, take care of our bodies, take care of our minds. Uh, obviously, we're going to watch film, see every day is an opportunity for us to, to get better individually, collectively. So we are going to watch film, uh, see all the things that we can do better, see what we think they're going to do differently. And, uh, and then uh, come in game three with uh, the same mindset. You know, just uh, from the first minute until the last, uh, play with our physicality, play with our urgency, and then offensively make the right play. You know, and if we do that, usually uh, good things happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.